Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very highly requested video and I'm very excited to show you guys this video because you have been requesting this look like no other. It has been unreal, but that's okay because I've always wanted like a daytime smoky eye. I just love a smoky eye. I think it's so sexy. I love a great time to smoky eye. So whenever I found this combination, I started doing it all the time. You guys sort of caught on and were like, oh, oh my God. So you wanted this, and then also this lip. I cannot tell you how many tweets, comments, um, I guess that's it, tweets and comments about the, what this lip combo is. It is so requested, and I mean, I can see why it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lip. It can match all skin tones, and it is very, very long wearing and long lasting, and can easily throw a gloss over this and make it like Gorge. I'm probably gonna put a gloss on after this video just because I'm a gloss girl But I just want to show you guys this tutorial because you have been requesting it like no other So without further ado, let's get on to the video starting off with a primer This is the LA girl pro primer and I wanted to mention this primer because I have actually really been liking it lately It is a great dupe for the Smashbox photo finish primer lasts all day feels exactly the same I love it. I just have put this I just have put this mm -hmm. I just apply this on my t-zone now I'm gonna go in with foundation and a foundation brush. I'm gonna have all the products listed down below. This is the Revlon nearly naked foundation in the shade vanilla I want to say and as you can see it's a little bit too light for me but that's okay I just keep working it into my skin and I'm eventually going to go back in and warm it up as you guys will see in a minute so here I'm just buffing that all over my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Graftobian Contour Highlight Palette and I'm taking this darker brown but it's like the lighter of the two browns so I guess the light brown and it's much more gray toned which is good for me because I'm very pale. Gray tones work a lot better when you're pale because it works more as a shadow. So here what I'm doing is I'm adding color to my face because I'm really pale and I'm also kind of giving my face dimension again. So over my temples to sink that in. I'm also sinking in my cheekbones to give me, you know, popping cheekbones right there and I am contouring away my my double chin so I don't have to go to the gym. I can just do that with makeup. Isn't that great? So after I do that a little bit, I actually have been contouring my nose lately and if you know me, this is kind of a big step for me because I am not one to contour my nose, but I really wanted to keep this clip in because I don't know why, but it's so aesthetically pleasing to watch someone contour their nose with straight lines. And I think I did a pretty good job today. So I'm happy with it. And I kind of just wanted to leave this whole clip in because it just looks so pleasing to the eye. So I blend this in. This is a cream contour. I also use a powder contour. I just kind of went nose contour crazy, but whatever, we're going to work with it. This is a really great contour powder or contour cream because it blends out super, super easily. Who remembers this concealer? It's MAC. Oh, God. I don't even remember it. Is it Studio Fix? Studio? It's something like that. Whatever. I'm going to have it linked down below. I don't even remember. It's so OG. But I fell back in love with it and I am absolutely obsessed with this concealer. I've been using it every day since this tutorial. Just look at the difference that your eyes have when you have concealer on versus when you don't. It's unreal. So then I go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I take the lighter shade that's shimmery. I think it's called Vanilla, but don't quote me on it. I'm not sure. I'll have it linked below. But I take the lighter shimmery shade and I put this underneath my eyes and I think it works pretty well as a dupe for Max Pro Emphasize. If you guys don't have that, it's kind of hard to get your hands on. I really like that. It's not too shimmery for under the eyes. I think it's beautiful and it really, really brightens up that under eye area. Then I go back in with that Graftobian contour kit and I take like the peach shade mixed with the white shade. I don't ever really touch the yellow shade and I highlight my face, which includes the chin, forehead, nose, right underneath where I would contour and I think that's it. And then I go back in with my foundation brush and I blend it all in just so that it looks natural and not too cray cray. Now I like to go in and bake my face. Believe it or not, I've actually been doing this like every single day. This is a flat topped brush from Crown Brush. But recently, since I filmed this, I haven't been using this brush because as you can see, there's a ton of powder excess that comes out and I don't like it. So I've switched to the smaller beauty blender for my nose, for where I just contoured or where I just baked, sorry, underneath where I would contour um, and around my smile lines. And I find that the sponge really preserves the powder and makes it not 
fly up everywhere and go crazy. It really just keeps it nice and tamed. I also love baking my smile lines. It really makes that area not go anywhere. It doesn't crease, it doesn't age you. It really keeps it in place. I forgot to say what powder this is. It was the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. I look like a deer, I did my brows, and now I go in and they have been baking for about five minutes five, six, seven minutes. And then I go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. Translucent means clear, does not have a color. This is a pressed powder. And I'm gonna go in and wipe off all of that baking. And then on places that I did not bake, I'm going to tap this product in so that I don't wipe away my concealer, contour, and foundation. So after that, I like to go in and prime what is not already primed with um, a little bit of product that I used to carve out my brows. Then I go in with the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette and I take this bone shade color and I put this all over my lid to make all the shadows easier to blend. A while ago I said that I hated this palette. I've been liking it a little bit more. Opinions change, palettes change, people change. Moving on. This, look how beauty guru I am. <laughs> I take this brush, this is a crown brush. I like it because it's flat, tapered. I take this gray. I love this gray. This palette is only useful for these two grays. I love it. So I take this color and I literally throw it in my eye. Throw it on my lid, throw it in my crease. Just make this sloppy and messy. This does not have to be neat. You absolutely cannot mess this up. Do this a couple times. It's a pretty light shade, but seriously guys, any light gray that is matte will work for this. Look at that, beautiful dimension. That little wink, sassy, love it. Then I go in with a blending brush and blend that all out. Side note, I do have a little bit of powder that I did not wipe off on my nose, but I do get that off later, so don't worry about it. This is the MAC eyeliner in the um, shade Slate. It's a gray, any gray eyeliner will work. The reason why I like this one is because it's nice and dry, so when I put it on my lid, it doesn't really smudge too much, and it, it's very easy to apply, and I just do small little strokes, and it really gets on my upper lash line. Doesn't have to be neat, doesn't matter. I'm just smudging it up a little tiny bit with a synthetic brush. Then I go in with a deeper gray that's kind of warmer. And I take a smaller brush that is a crease brush. And I put this where my eyeliner is and I smoke it up. This really changes the look, adds dimension, and it smokes out the liner while giving it a depth. But it stays blended all at the same time. If you can see that, it's just a nice gradient up to nothing, it's very smoky. Now I take that liner and I line my waterline with this. I've been loving this look lately. And then I go back in with that same dome-shaped crease brush that's very precise and I take the darker gray and I will blend out my lower lash line till there is no more blending to be done. I blend like a crazy bitch. I blend and I blend and I blend. Now I go in with nylon, which is my favorite under brow highlight, throw that on there. It's great, it's yellow, but it still works with this type of tone. Then I take Floof, which is the absolute best inner corner highlight. Put that on the inner corner. Sorry, this video is very overexposed. I use too many lights. Next time I won't do that. This is a mascara for my lower lashes. Since I have lash extensions on the top, I just put mascara on the lower lashes. This is waterproof, does not transfer. Any waterproof mascara will do the trick. So put your mascara on and then your eyes are done. Smoky, simple, literally took a minute, right? How sad is this? This is the Baby Don't Go Blush. I use this as a bronzer transition shade for my contour. This just brings color back to my face. A lot of bronzers for me when I'm very pale are super muddy, super orange, and not really cute. But this just gives my face warmth, color, and just looks natural, I think. It doesn't look too overdone. I love pink undertones with bronzers. I think they look beautiful on my complexion. Even when I'm tan, I'll sometimes use this. This is the Kevin Aucoin Medium Sculpting Powder. I absolutely love this for contouring. I think it is beautiful. So I put this in the hollows of my cheeks to sculpt out my face. Really attractive face right there, Tori. Good job. And of course, I'm gonna do it on the other cheek because you don't wanna have one cheek chiseled and not the other. That wouldn't be cute. So after you have contoured both cheeks, this is where I go in and I fix that little nose baking that I kind of forgot. So I just go in with a precise under eye smudger brush and I think that is the best way to apply nose contour, guys. I'm still working on it. 
but just I'm just trying a bunch of things and that's that brush has been working out the best for me and then I just take this real technique setting brush and I buff that like crazy until it looks blended and natural I swear to you guys this is the only blush that looks good on me it's dazzled by Tarte it is plummy it's rosy it's dark it's just gorgeous when I'm pale when I'm tan like it just always looks good on me and I love this blush Becca Champagne Glow Palette Jaclyn Hill Combo saves my life. I mix Champagne Pop and Pearl. They are both permanent now. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Jaclyn. You saved my life. I put this on the high points of my cheeks. I'm loving it. The faces I make when I put on my highlight is just crazy. And then I also put it down the center of my nose and do like the little exclamation mark thing. I don't normally like that, but for some reason, only when I do these steps, it works. This is a lip combo you guys have been asking me like crazy about, okay? This is Velvet 59 Liquid Lipstick. I saw this thing on Instagram today that Paris Manning posted that these might be starting to be sold in Sephora. That will make my life. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, let's, let's just pray. I'm going to have what this color is linked down below. I'm drawing a blank right now. I think it's either like pink Cadillac or something else. I don't know. But that's a little bit too nude. So I go in with this lipstick. This is Vintage Rose by Gerard Cosmetics. This lipstick is probably my favorite right now. It is dry. It's a great dry formula. So what it does is it just adds color back to my lips, but it's not too opaque. It's a very sheer tint, but it's dry and long wearing. I absolutely love the formula, love the color, love this lipstick. So that is my everyday smoky eye. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see coming up. I love you all so much, and thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. <laughs> Cause I did she want a trilogy. My style is heard that he wrote a curse of the revising. Oh. <coughs> 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 <coughs>